Chris Sison to kick around this late game. Jags and Broncos. Mark Brunel and Jacksonville. Can they pull a stunner again? He said for the Jaguars at the Broncos, you're Denver. You only have today at home. Then you go on the road. What's their recipe for success today? Well, Peter? their recipe for success is quite easy. Uh, when you look at all their home games, 8-0 at home, they're dominant at home, and the reason being is because they score defensive touchdowns, they put pressure on you with their special teams, and they're able to run Terrell Davis. And John Elway actually feeds off of Terrell mm -hmm. Davis very well, good play-action passer, and of course, we all know the great exploits that he can do outside the pocket. Quickly, what's Jacksonville have to do to repeat last year's Poise. Year's it takes a poise, and I think when you look at uh, Mark Brunel, he is poised, and he's beyond his years in playing, and he's the guy that can pull it off. We're poised for another good game. If it can top the first one, boy, they don't go anywhere. Shannon Sharp and the Broncos host the Jaguars. We'll see you at halftime. Kickoff coming up. It was undeniably the most shocking upset of the 1996 season. Jacksonville at Denver. The quarterback in today's wild card game is John Elway. In last year's playoff game, he and the Broncos jumped on the Jaguars early. The 12 to nothing lead, no surprise. But then today's other wild card quarterback, Mark Brunel, began to strut his stuff. Turns, launch it downfield, looking for Keenan in the end zone. Keenan leaps, makes the catch, down Jaguars! He's at the 40. Mark Brunel running to the far sideline, turn the corner, 35-30. Down to the 25, an inside move, leaping for the 21. That run kept alive a key fourth quarter possession for Jacksonville, and then... Big play, 35 to the 16. Looking for Jimmy in the end zone, touchdown Jaguars! That's it. The Jaguars are going to the championship game of the American Football Conference. The images of that game remain vivid for both teams in today's wild card rematch. A cornerstone victory for the Jags, a searing defeat for the Broncos. John Elway and all of Denver have waited nearly a year for this game. Seal them up. It's the Jaguars and the Broncos in this AFC wild card playoff. December day, weather just right for football, temperature about 44 degrees, wind gusting to about 30 miles per hour. It could get stronger a little later in the day. And Mile High Stadium, a great setting for any football game and a dramatic setting for this rematch between Jacksonville and Denver. Hello again, everyone. Frank Gibbard, Al Michaels, and Dan Deardorff. There will be no 